Get ready, because what you're about to see is an absolute bombshell. A new AI has emerged that, in the most fundamental task of artificial intelligence, reasoning is a hundred times better than ChatGPT. And that's not an exaggeration. It didn't come from Google. It didn't come from OpenAI. It's not bigger, nor is it trained on more data. In fact, it comes from a tiny startup in Singapore, and its model is called HRM. And while ChatGPT and its siblings think step by step, as if following a fragile recipe, HRM does it completely differently. It thinks in loops, like the human brain, and the results are, quite simply, shocking. If you think this is just another exaggerated headline, stick around. I'm going to show you the data. I'm going to show you the proof. The unexpected twist in the AI race. To understand why HRM is so revolutionary, we first have to understand how most modern AI models work. Take ChatGPT, for example. When you give it a complex problem, it breaks it down. Step by step, a strategy known as chain of thought. This is as if the artificial intelligence is talking itself through a math problem, one instruction after another. Step one, I'll do this. Step two, I'll do that. It sounds like a very sensible strategy, right? And often it works well, but there is a critical flaw, a vulnerability that makes it as fragile as glass. If the AI makes just one error in the very first step, the entire chain breaks and the final answer falls apart completely. It's the equivalent of building a tower out of Legos one block at a time. If the block you place at the bottom is slightly crooked, the entire structure you build on top of it is doomed to fall. This limits the reliability of the AI and makes even small errors devastating. HRM, on the other hand, completely bypasses this fragility. Its architecture is a bold imitation of the way the human brain makes decisions, and the results of this approach are, frankly, impactful. It is not a downsized, large language model, one of those that are cut down to fit on a small device. It is not a stripped-back transformer, not a slimmed-down version of ChatGPT. It's something entirely new, something that mimics the brain, but not in the generic it's a neural network way we've all heard. This model literally borrows the brain's layered decision-making strategy, the method of thinking, executing, and verifying, and applies it to artificial intelligence reasoning. And what it has achieved with this strategy is simply incredible. Imagine a model with only 27 million parameters. To put that in perspective, the first version of GPT, GPT-1, had 117 million. We're talking about less than a quarter of the size. However, this model not only competes, but it beats models like Claude 3.7 and OpenAI 0, three mini high on the most demanding reasoning. Benchmarks. It sounds like science fiction, but it's real. The reason is both simple and profound. HRM reasons more like a human. It doesn't just follow a list of instructions, but thinks strategically and then executes rapidly. The project is also open source, which means anyone can examine how it works. Proof of concept. Tests are already being conducted in critical areas like healthcare, helping to diagnose rare diseases, and in climate forecasting, a field where precision is vital. And most importantly, the team behind. This is made up of former engineers from some of the most cutting-edge companies in the world. DeepMind, Anthropic, DeepSeek, and even Elon Musk's XAI Group. It's a dream team, and they are betting everything on this brain-inspired design to push the limits of what we believe is possible. This is not just a theory, it's a fact, and it's only the beginning. If you're interested in this kind of content that goes beyond the headlines, I ask you to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on notifications, because what's coming next is even more fascinating. We're going to break down exactly how this magic works. Let's take the ArcAGI benchmark, which is basically an intelligence quotient test for artificial intelligence. The results are so astonishing, they're paradigm shifting. HRM, 40.3%. Claude, 3.7, 21.2%. OpenAI, 0, 3 mini high, 34.5%. HRM is not just better, 
It's almost twice as good as one of its main competitors in a test of pure reasoning. These are differences that cannot be ignored, but it gets even better. They tested it on hard and extreme Sudoku levels. Want to guess how many? The Claude or OpenAI model solved? Zero. Not a single one. HRM, it solved 55% of them. And we're talking about problems that are a challenge even for humans. An amazed challenge with 30 by 30 grids. HRM found the optimal path in 74.5% of the tests. The others, again, a resounding zero. The most mind-blowing part is that this model was trained with just a thousand examples per task. No massive internet data sets. No months-long pre-training. Guan Wang, one of the minds behind HRM, stated that they could train it to a pro-level Sudoku solver in just two GPU hours. For any other company, that would be simply impossible. It's ridiculous. Chapter 3. The future isn't bigger, it's different. HRM's architecture isn't just better on benchmarks. It solves fundamental problems that current. Transformer models face from their very foundation. Transformer-based models like GPT or Claude work by processing a fixed number of steps for each. Output token. Their process is rigid. They always think the same amount, regardless of weather. The question is a simple calculation or a complex equation. They can't say, this is a tough one. Let me think longer. Once they start generating a token, they're locked into that decision. It's like a train that can't back up or change tracks once it has started moving forward. Once the AI begins to speak, it can no longer go back and correct an error. HRM, with its two-level architecture, breaks free from that limitation. It is built to reason not to chat. Don't expect it to write a poem or summarize your emails. But as a proof of concept, it is one of the strongest we have ever seen. HRM is not alone in this new wave of thinking. Others are exploring continuous thought machines, models with one-bit weights, and even reasoning models based on diffusion. All are part of the same trend, rethinking how AI should actually work instead of just making it bigger. The difference is that HRM is already working. It's already beating models four times its size, using a tiny fraction of the data and no pre-training at all. It's no longer just a theory. And honestly, unless someone suddenly throws a few billion into building a new foundational model from scratch, the next big leap in AI probably won't be another scaled-up GPT clone. It will be something like this. A totally new architecture that brings better reasoning, faster training, and cheaper deployment without needing a warehouse full of GPUs. If HRM's path continues, it could be the first step toward a world where AI agents don't live in data centers. They live in your laptop, in your robot, or in your car. And they won't just be paraphrasing the internet. They will actually be thinking. So what do you think? Is this the future of artificial general intelligence? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'm reading all of them. And if you like this video and want more content about breakthroughs like this, be sure to subscribe and give it a like. I'll catch you in the next one.